Why do you believe you'll be able to sustain your success as quarterback over a long career? Well, two reasons. One, I'm, I'm a hard worker. I have a good work ethic. And I think I know how to work now in the offseason. I've been training with Drew Brees and a, and a trainer named Todd Durkin in San Diego. And, and that's really, um, I think, given me a, a great foundation as far as getting my body in really good shape. And then two, I'm my own worst critic. Um, I'm, you know, to a fault, I'm almost too hard on myself and, and, and not complacent with the way I'm playing ever. You know, I want to be the best. Your father, Ed, and your good friend, Dave Lonnie, both told me that they believe you expect, when it's all said and done, to be essentially the greatest quarterback ever to live. To what extent is that true? Uh, that's really not something I think about too much. Um, but I, I mean, is that an expectation that you have for yourself? No. No, I'm, I mean, again, that's, that's not something I've really ever thought about. That's something that, that'll happen down the road and, and be sorted out down the road. Right now, I just want to win games and win championships. You mentioned your, your own worst critic. Is there an example of how hard you've been on yourself after a particular game or a play? Uh, I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm just never satisfied. I think I'm always searching for that perfect game. And even when you, you could diagnose a game where I played my best or had my best quarterback rating, I'm still going to be tossing a turn at night about, you know, one or two throws that I should have thrown better or a decision I should have, you know, I should have made that I didn't make or a check I should have made that I, that I made the wrong check. So, um, unfortunately, that doesn't allow me to sleep very well um, and instead of, you know, maybe need to focus more on the, on the positives at times.